right, this is a response to a comment I got on a video about the fading of the uh, the walls when the player enters and leaves it. So you can see right here I have the fade wall set up. Uh, when the player leaves it, it fades uh, back to a uh, max transparency, and when the player enters it, it's completely transparent. And what I have here is on the wrong one I have selected. Uh, the, I have a hidden tile map right here, so it's only affected for this right now, but the script that I've set up, it can be set to anything, but right here, you can see when the player's entered it, the alpha is set to zero, and when the player leaves, I don't want to accidentally die here, so I'm going to jump over here, uh, it's set back to max. I don't know if you can see it right here changing very well, but it's changing, and I have the a script set up on a collider right here so you have a simple box collider with is triggered and then the script set up uh, have the sprite render right here so that way I can modify it more easily so I can just go over here and change it I've noticed that if it doesn't have a uh, image on it you can't use the, this top left over here you can't use this one right here as easily or at all really but yeah basically um, I have this right here and then I just have it disabled when the script starts and how did I have the script set up is so I get the tile map which is um, over here which would be the hidden tile map um, a boolean checking to see if the player has entered the uh, trigger collider and leaving it I have the fade alpha for the uh, tile map color so normally it would be set to one for com like you'd be able to see it completely fine and then zero it's like the alpha would be just set to zero so one would be 255 and zero would be zero obviously um yeah i made it into a uh an array here so that way you could have multiple power maps set up so if you wanted it if you didn't want to have multiple uh fade colliders I guess set up you could just use just one of them so if I take the um, the ground one here and I'm gonna leave it so yeah set it up that way too yeah <laughs> because I messed up on it put that back in there and then I'm going to control Z that there we go but let's get back to the script so if the player has entered it's going to minus the alpha fade by time dot delta time and if they leave it's going to increase it um if it's you know i don't want it to like keep decreasing if it goes to zero or past zero because if it does that it's going to take a while for it to fade back in if the player's been just idling inside the uh, collider same thing with like if it's at one i don't want it to go higher than that but um i have it multiplied by the amplifier so that way it will be you can have it to where it's like something really snappy or not so snappy so let's say 100 it's going to be like completely instant 20 or let's do 15 so like 15 it's more it's like really quick but like you can't really register it that it's fading unless if you're absolutely paying attention if i have it set to something like one it's gonna be super slow and at five i found for me works the best I and mean, 10 might be also good too that's more noticeable than what 15 was but yeah that's basically what the script is it's just a fade multiplier with just the alpha fade and when the player enters it just decreases or increases it based on the boolean check